Rose and Famishon. But Bobby Dunlop even had Kerry Packer ringside to see him batter Young McCormick for the Empire Light Heavyweight title in 1968. It was a hard fight, especially for McCormick, as Dunlop discovered a couple of years later. When I went over to uh, London to Solomon's gym there and uh, I had a look around there and I made inquiries and uh, had a good uh, touch with uh, John McCormick. They gave me a dress and I went round there and knocked on the door. Anyway, this bloke comes to the door. It's, it's grey, his hair's just completely grey and uh, says, John McCormick came. He said, I am John McCormick. Oh, jeez. I couldn't believe it. The Empire title capped a rapid rise for Dunlop. He was a good boxer and not afraid to mix it, as he did beating American heavyweight Levin Roundtree. He was also superbly fit, as Ern McQuillan Jr. recalls. Bobby was a, uh, a fanatic for fitness. You never had to push him. He was a council worker and uh, uh, he was worked with a pick and shovel and... Uh, and he worked just as hard in the gymnasium. Dunlop fought good imports like Texan Elmo Henderson seen here. I think it was around six or seven and uh, everyone the all sort of bar me and it uh, hit me on the chin and uh, down I went and I got up at about three and I um, stand down my hand on the ropes and uh, the referee counted me out. So I was quite angry about that and uh, it, uh, I uh, went in altercation in the dressing room. I, uh, Tried to get hold of him and uh, punch his lights out, but uh, they got the police and uh, all sorts of drama. So they arranged for me to fight him again, and oh, I just punished him. I, you know, I stood on his feet and elbowed him and done all sorts of terrible things to him. You know. Dunlop was also especially proud of his victories over Sydney gangster and standover man Roy Thurger, beating him in the ring and in a street fight in front of the Coogee Bay Hotel. Under Ern McQuillan, Dunlop became the world's number three light heavyweight. In 1969, Jose Torres, the great Puerto Rican world champ, visited Sydney. The Puerto Rican hasn't been in the ring for ten months, but he shows devastating punching power right from the first round. Overweight and supposedly washed up, Torres sprung a huge surprise on Dunlop on April Fool's Day, 1968. Bobby was the odds-on favourite, but Torres made a mockery of the market. Dunlop tried to shake Torres early, and it was a big mistake. Bobby was always vulnerable to hard overhand rights, and that just happened to be Torres's favourite punch. Dunlop fought on for another couple of years, but could never regain his brilliant early form. By the age of 24, he had retired.